Hey guys, Faisal here with Nexus 7 Soft Modder, and uh, today I'm going to show you a sort of a different way to achieve uh, full screen mode on your Nexus 7. Um, you may have already heard of Pi Controls, and that's a great way to get rid of the bottom navigation bar. Uh, but what I'm going to show you is a little bit different. It's an app called Full Screen. Uh, you do need to be rooted to be able to use this app. Uh, so there's a link in the article of uh, a guide that uh, Nelson wrote up. It's a great guide. It's really easy to do on this device. So go ahead and check that out. Um, now, as long as you're rooted, uh, just head over to the Play Store, and you're going to search for an app called Full Screen. And um, it's spelled a little, little funny, uh, but you can just search for full screen. It'll come up on the results. Um, it's actually it's uh, it's full, and then there's an exclamation point, and then the word screen. But uh, go ahead and download that app. Uh, it's by T Sorn, uh, so you, uh, that way you know you get the right one. Once you've downloaded it, um, you know it'll either be here in your notification panel or just hit open from the Play Store. Um, now you see the first thing it's going to do is going to ask you for root permissions. So go ahead and grant that. And uh, once you have the root permissions, um, you're pretty much set to go. So you'll notice this first option is just the basically on off. So I'm going to go ahead and enable it. And what that does is it took the bar away and it puts uh, two icons in, in either bottom corner. Uh, the right one is your essential, uh, your home button. And the other one uh, on the left side is your back button. Uh, what these actions is also long presses and swipes. So uh, I'm just going to go over that uh, real quickly here. Um, so if you scroll down, um, and I'm going to make these a little bit bigger just so you guys get a better view of these bottom buttons here. Um, so now what you can do is you can extend the settings for the touch area. So right now it's basically you can touch wherever the button is. If you extend the settings, it, it'll expand the the area um, where you can uh, touch your your device and actually activate these buttons. Uh, the next thing you can do is you can go down and you can change positions. You can put these on the top if you want or switch the sides, uh, whatever you want to do. Um, so you know if I put it on the top left now you see that it's jumped up here um, but I'm gonna keep it on the bottom left um, and so you can assign the different actions you know if you feel like you wanna you wanna change around the the order you can um, there's quite a few actions here you can do the back of home screen recent apps um, and you guys can browse that the other thing you can do is you can set a long click action so uh, this is currently the the bottom left button right here so if you hit it once it just goes back um, and it goes back to that app now if you uh, the way I have it set up right now is if you long press it it's going to show your recent apps list and that's right here uh, and this will populate um, you know the more apps that you add uh, and then you can all actually set a swipe action as well so let me see for this one I'll just do show notifications and um, now, if you're going to do notifications, it actually needs more permissions from uh, the Android um, operating system. And this is a stock ROM, so it's a stock rooted ROM. Uh, so, um, you know, this basically just says there's a security measure and that you have to, um, you know, actively enable this to control parts of your system. So it's going to take you to settings. Uh, once there, you're going to see full screen right here. Go ahead and click that and just turn it on with the switch over here um, and then hit OK. Now the reason for that is um, when you're giving access to notifications you're kinda letting that app see what your notifications are um, so you have to trust that it's not gonna be used maliciously um, so you know just bearing that in mind once you turn that on go ahead and head back into the app and so remember that's my swipe action so now if I swipe up it shows my uh, notification bar you can just um, hit back again and it's gone. Uh, and again, there's another button on the other side. You could do the same sort of actions. Um, you know, So right now, the way I have it set up is if I long press um, the home button, um, you know, if you press it one time, it'll take you home. If you long press it, it'll actually just restore the nav bar. So now you have your nav bar back. Um, you know, if you, if you weren't digging it or you just kind of want to see what the difference was, easy way to get it back. Uh, you know, if you want to turn on uh, the full screen app again, just head to the app, 
hit enable, and you're all set. Uh, so check the app out, guys. Uh, let me know if you guys are having problems with it or if you find any cool uh, uses. Now, there's also a plus version. Uh, I don't have that, but it does allow some other features. So check out the description on the Play Store. And uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to our channel and like this video. And again, if you have any issues, just go ahead and leave a comment, and uh, we'll get back to you. All right, thanks, guys.